Hey everyone, we Jack right here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Bowser vs. King Dedede Cartoon Fight Club episode 176. This we're almost at the 200 episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wondering how he's gonna do do it when he celebrates the 200 episode. I'm a Be honest right now, I feel like this is gonna be like this, like what he did with episode one. Make it a remaster or something. Actually, no. I, just, I feel like it's going to do something more special than that. Maybe the Mario vs. Undertale. To a war, maybe. I don't know. If that happens, I am going to be both excited and a little scared. But anyway. Yeah. I am going with Bowser on this one. I mean, I do like Bowser more than King Dedede. But King Dedede does have the durability to survive Bowser attacks. But I don't know if Bowser... I mean, King Dedede can take Bowser down for good. We'll, look, we'll see. But anyway, as always, please make sure to go check out the original video. I'll be right back here once again. Okay? Okay. Before we start this video, I'd like to say sorry for the delay with this episode. It's been over a week since we uploaded a full episode. And the reason why this took so long to produce is, you know, because the YouTube ad boycott, we just don't have enough funds to pump out animations at the rate we were once able to. It's not wow. that tough to create animations in this environment now. So if you do want to save this entire animation team, just by donating as little as $1 to our Patreon page, you can do our team wonders. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to thank some newcomers personally, such as Nightmare Trooper, Nicholas Athens, Michael F., Tiberia, Sailor Peace. Hey, there are big people right there that'll help me on Patreon line all the way through. Lily Cat, the ones Kyle making Kyle awesome Kyle videos. Kyle. I'd also like to thank some PayPal donors such as Derek R, Bixby Consulting Services, and Corin O'Keefe. Derek R sent in a super generous $40, and we are super grateful for that. And I'd also like to thank again to Zachary Cantu and ZachPlaz98 for being the top two Patreon donors. ZachPlaz98 is donating a very kind $100 a month, which is absolutely amazing. We couldn't thank you enough. Dang, so yo, these are awesome people right here. And save this channel. I do hope. Really do want I wish I could do something. Like, I don't have any money because I'm only 15, but I wish I could do something. But the only thing I could do is go to Amish Rewind's channel and donate. That's the only thing I could do. Spread the word. Anyway, let's go to the Spider Man. Let's sleep for the Adventure of Total War. Godzilla vs. Transformers Total War. Mario vs. Shadow. Ruby vs. I vote from Soldier. And I'm about to get to the main street ball cartoon fight club. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 176th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. If you are new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Shill. So if you enjoy what you see, Shill? Wait, what? How do you say that name? And speaking of tonight's battle, we have a battle between the King of Koopas versus the King of Waddledees. That's right, Bowser versus King Dedede. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon. I know a lot about King Dedede, though. I did see the ad, uh, Kirby right back at you, anime. And many other things. By a totalitarian government and fearful king. This king is someone no one even dreams of overthrowing. See what I did there? But no one wants to overthrow him, not because they fear him, but because King DDD isn't actually a king of any sort, excluding his mob of Waddledees that obey his every command. He claims to be king, but no one really listens to him. So what does he do? Well, he does what fat birds do best. Steal food and take things. With the okay. request, the food thief arch rival is going to be someone who loves eating and can't stop eating. Thus, That's the true. great rivalry between Kirby and King DDD begins. Like, King DDD he has to be with Kirby. Hammering. His signature weapon so is his star studded jet hammer. With this hammer, he's strong enough to damage powerhouses like Kirby and Meta Knight, and he could easily smash through stone and solid rock. The hammer right. can also be used to launch star projectiles. And its jet thruster can be used for increased force and speed. King DDD is also very skilled at inhaling, puff flight, swimming, and speed jumping. While he is large, he's not slow. He can keep up with star attacks and Kirby himself during close range combat. Alright, so that's, I mean, 
That's what gets me a little scared right there. He's not exactly the brightest guy around. He's very lazy and he could easily be tricked. Heck, for a king, he does a poor job making his own rules as he's easily manipulated like a pawn when he's faced with higher powers. Lucky for him, his army of Waddledees is even dumber than he is. King Dedede has been on many adventures both with and against Kirby. This gives a lot of experience under his belt and proves that even though he isn't the brightest one around, he's still at least smart enough to make quick decisions and save his own life and good. Overall, King Dedede is a top tier boss right. in the Kirby universe. He is extremely skilled with his hands. Yeah, he can be the good guy. He isn't the most fierce yeah. around. He still tries his best to get his way. Any questions? Um, yes. What the? Tries his best to get his way. Any questions? Um, what the? Yes. Jimmy Neutron? Looking at the glass half empty, Bowser is someone who always fails. But looking at the glass half full, Bowser is someone who never gives up no matter the odds. And will continue to try and try and try again. Over the course of 30 plus years, Bowser has developed a wide set of powers and abilities. His signature attack is his fire breath. He can breathe... That's true. You could counter that with Yee's with hammer. And his classic stream of fire. At Bowser's core, his bones are completely immune to fire, which is why his dry Bowser skeleton can deflect all of Mario's fire pellets, and he can swim in lava like it's nothing. Heck, even Bowser's base form is pretty much fireproof as well. Mario knocked Bowser into a core of a heating... Oh yeah, he did survive a, he a super little bit at Black Hole, so I gave him some great durability. This is some serious levels of heat. Just the surface of the average yellow star is roughly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and Bowser came out of its core and collapsed the whole thing like nothing. Bowser also has some seriously dangerous spikes on his shell. Like a turtle, he can retract into his shell and slide around in a very harmful spinning fashion. Bowser's claws are sharp enough to scratch through metals and stones, and if he wants, he can even grow and shrink in size. All right. Big and bad as Bowser is depicted to be, there is a very good reason as to why he's always been failing all the time. He may be full of raw power and strength, but he isn't exactly a tactical genius. That's true. Rather slow compared to other Mario characters, and usually falls failure to Mario because Mario is much faster and smarter. Overall. All right, I feel like that's gonna be a big problem when he's facing King DD because King DD could probably out think Bowser. Well, not really out think Bowser, but save his own life. But I do hope Bowser's raw power is enough to, to stop King DD. I mean, I do like both Bowser and King DD, but I like Bowser much more. Anyway, ruin for your Bowser. Officer's cloud contract can travel all the way to the galaxy. And there it is. I mean, we can do that. Well, I know you can't really do that, but still, it's the, it's the animation, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions? Um, yes. Are you going to finish that? Yes, sir. Not gonna. Not bad place. I could destroy. Oh, don't even think about trying to sell my castle. Yeah, don't try to sell out this castle. My King Bowser, Mister. I could be a try to. All right. Come on, Bowser, you got this. What the heck? <laughs> All right, this is Bowser says my way gets out there. Oh. 
Before we discuss why, I want to give a super huge shout out to the battle animator, Shilv. If you enjoyed right now, you Bowser remains undefeated. And subscribe. And now let's discuss why Bowser wins. And for anyone who knows anything about both of these characters, you would know that Bowser would be able to handle DDD with relative ease. For starters, Bowser is much larger and heavier than DDD. I know they seem similar heights in the animation, but that wasn't a simulation as DDD is only like a few inches tall, making Bowser. Bowser at least 8 to 10 times bigger than him. Bowser is also a lot smarter as he's able to stall and outthink many intelligent minds in the Mario universe such as really? Princess Peach and Oliver Toads. While DDD is not the brightest boss around as he can only merely control his waddle -dees. Bowser has near complete oh. fear immunity which means DDD star attacks wouldn't really have much an effect on Bowser while Bowser's flames would deal great damage to King DDD. Another important thing to factor is the okay. fighting styles. If DDD loses his hammer, a good majority of his fighting capabilities and tactics would be severed to nothingness, while Bowser, on the other hand, is much more reliant on his own natural abilities from his body. Bowser is covered in thick skin, sharp claws, and a durable protective shell. All right. DDD is one giant, soft, exploitable round target for Bowser to just tear up. Making the winner right. of this battle, Bowser. Now, if you want to see a video game boss free for all with the likes of Bowser, King K. Rule, King DDD, Dr. Eggman, Dr. Wily, and many more video game bosses, nice. all you gotta do is like this video. I don't really see that, though. Please comment down below. Yeah, yeah. I'm also expecting kind of like a Bowser versus Eggman. Who the next fighters are, I link the trailer to the next time on my social media accounts. So visit me on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter to see who's fighting next. What is animation it? rewind? And I'll fast No, animation rewind. Do not do this to me. Do not do this to me, man. That is, that is not cool. That is not cool. Come on, I'm Israel. I want to see who the next fighters are. I, I don't have a, I can't go to your Patreon. I don't know how to do that. <sighs> That's gonna suck for me. Anyway, this one's a good one. I am happy at Bowser one. Anyway, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Oh, because I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi out.